Okay, we're going to do a quick transmit power test on a Radio Shack HTX202. Just to show you the power source we're using. Do this with one hand. Of course I can't. Um, it's got uh, AA batteries. This is the battery shell. This is on low power into a dummy load. And you're looking at the 5 watt scale there. Again, that's low power. About 600 milliwatts. High power. Solid 3 watts. Okay, let's try 6, 5, 5, 0. Low power. at about uh, eh, maybe 800 milliwatts high power right at three let's do one four seven uh, let's see five 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 so one of the simplex frequencies no power there we go high power right at three Okay, let's do, let's just go to the bottom of the band for fun, low power, yeah. that's closer to 600 milliwatts, there's high, solid 3, and the top of the band, that's uh, I mean you're looking at, you know, 7, It's just under three. Uh, So fairly consistent power trans or transmit power across the band. Let's uh, just see what the SWR on our dummy load is. Oh, nothing. What a surprise. Alright, there you have it. This is um a radio that was made in 1996, I believe. So uh, yeah. Not the newest radio, but um, it's got kick-ass deviation and a great receiver.